Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm back today with another video from The Ordinary. You guys seem to love my Ordinary videos and this time we're not talking about skincare, we're going to talk all about their foundations. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Ordinary Serum Foundation versus their Coverage Foundation. They're both quite different, so you might be wondering which foundation is best for you and your skin type. I'm also going to be doing a little demo and applying both of these foundations just so you guys can see how it actually looks on the skin. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on what I think about both foundations and if they both lived up to their claims. So if you're interested in learning more about the Ordinary Foundations, then keep on watching. So both of these foundations retail for $6.90, which is incredible. I feel like that's even cheaper than a drugstore foundation these days. I also want to mention that Desiem, which is the brand that owns The Ordinary, is currently having 23% off on their website. So these are going to come out to around $5, which is insane. I would definitely take advantage of it. I believe it's for the entire month of November. So I'm going to start with the serum foundation. This has a very lightweight feel to it. It's going to look very natural on the skin. I would say on first application, it gives light coverage and it's buildable to a medium coverage. And the coverage foundation is going to be high coverage. It definitely has a higher amount of pigment in it than the serum foundation. So this is going to be a full coverage foundation with a semi matte finish on the skin. I also want to talk about their shade range because there is a lot to know if you are interested in these foundations and if you're trying to figure out what shade you're in. So there are 21 shades in this line and it's all broken down into three different categories. So one is for anyone that has a fair to light skin tone, two is going to be for medium skin tones like myself, and three is going to be for deeper skin tones. So depending on your skin tone, you're either going to be a one, two, or a three in this foundation. And then after that number, it's broken down into different undertones. So P is for pink, R is for red, N for neutral, Y for yellow. I believe they even have golden and silver. So since I have a medium skin tone, I definitely looked at all the number two shades. And I also know that I have a very yellow and golden undertone. So I only looked at the shades that had a Y or a G. The last thing I want to say is that the shade range is the same in both foundations. So whatever shade you are in the serum foundation, you're going to be the same shade in the high coverage foundation. All right, so now that you guys know a little bit more information about these foundations, I'm going to go ahead and test them out so you guys can see what it looks like on the skin, so keep on watching. All right guys, so I'm gonna start with the serum foundation and I have two shades here that I'm right in between. One is 2.0 YG and the other is 2.1 Y. And unfortunately, there's no shade in between, otherwise I feel like that would be my perfect shade. And I do have to mix the two together. The lighter one is just a little bit too light for me and the darker one is a little bit too dark for me. So that's the only thing that I would have to say about this foundation right off the bat is that there is no perfect shade for me and, you know, it's a bummer, but we're gonna work it out. So my skin is already nice and prepped. I did my skincare this morning and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a primer. Now I do have to say that The Ordinary does have excellent primers in their line. They have the high adherence primer, which is a little bit more mattifying and the high spreadability fluid primer, which is silicone based, but it is gonna be a little bit better for someone that has a drier skin type. I have tried their high spreadability fluid primer and I love it. I'm just currently out at the moment. Today I'm gonna to be using Fenty Beauty's True Matte Pro Filter. This is a mattifying primer because I do have oily skin. I'm only gonna be applying a tiny amount just in the areas where I get oily, so mainly my T-zone, my chin, and definitely my forehead. So I went ahead and did one full pump of the 21Y and then I went ahead and did a couple drops of the 2.0 YG. I also forgot to mention this is really important, but you do wanna give it a good shake right before you pump out the foundation. I totally forgot to do that. And the foundation brush I'm using today is the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and start just on one side of my face. So I went ahead and just applied it to this side of my face, that way you guys can kind of see the difference. I don't have any foundation here or up here, but it gives a really beautiful natural finish. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the other side of my face. So I love the texture of this foundation, it has a very thin consistency and it's very fluid. So as I'm applying it on, it's literally just melting into the skin. 
I also wasn't expecting as much coverage as I'm getting right now. When I think of a serum foundation, I think of something very dewy and hydrating and a little bit more sheer. I would say this gives a light coverage and it's definitely buildable. So if I do, I would say even right now, it's like in between a light and a medium coverage. And if I do another layer, I could probably build it up to a full coverage. So this gave really beautiful coverage already. I do see that my acne scars are still kind of peeking through. So I'm gonna go back and just go in with a concealer brush. As far as the finish of this foundation, I do agree that it has a semi-matte finish. I would even consider this a matte finish. For those of you guys that have dry skin, I would say that you should prep your skin really well, use a really good hydrating moisturizer, and if you do use a primer, don't use a silicone-based primer, use a more hydrating primer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. That way you guys can kind of see how it looks with the rest of my makeup. All right guys, so I went ahead and applied the rest of my makeup and I have to say I'm really, really happy with the overall finish and the look. My skin just looks super flawless, but at the same time, it feels like I have nothing on my skin. It has a really lightweight feel to it and it definitely doesn't feel like I'm wearing a heavy foundation. I also didn't really feel the need to set my makeup with a translucent powder. I usually always do that, but because this gave me such a matte finish, I only did a tiny bit on my forehead where I get oily and just whatever I had left on my brush around my nose. If your skin is on the drier side, I don't think that you really need to set your makeup with this. Again, this is gonna be really different for everybody. I've watched a few videos on this foundation and some people say it gives a very matte finish on their skin. Some people even say it has a more dewy finish on their skin. Everybody's different and I feel like until you try it, you'll really just kind of know. But on myself, it has a semi-matte finish and I'm really happy with the results. Overall, I'm really happy with this foundation. I can definitely see myself using it on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, I wanna point out this is not a typical serum foundation, so if you are expecting something that's very hydrating and dewy on the skin with very sheer light coverage, this is not it. This definitely gives more coverage than I was expecting, but for me personally, I love it because I do need a little bit more coverage, but I do like the fact that it doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take all this off and and we're gonna go ahead and apply the high coverage foundation. All right, so now we're gonna apply the high coverage foundation. I already did my skincare, I did my primer. I also did my little mixing concoction. So I did 2.1 Y, about 75% of this, and about 25% of the 2.0 YG. I really hope that you guys don't have to mix foundations because it is a bummer having to buy two foundations, at least for me, but I'm gonna be using the same foundation brush again. And this time, I'm gonna be really sparing with the coverage because I know this is going to give much more coverage than the serum foundation, which already gave me really good coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start buffing this into my skin. And again, I'll do one side first, just so you guys can see the difference. As far as the consistency of this foundation, it's very similar, if not the same as the serum foundation. It has a very thin, liquidy consistency. It melts into the skin. As you guys can see, or I don't know if you can see, but I can definitely see, this has a lot more coverage than the serum foundation. and. It also feels like I am wearing foundation, but as far as the coverage, the coverage is beautiful. I feel like my skin looks flawless and I didn't even have to go back a second time to cover up my acne scars on my chin and my cheek. It just really covered everything in one application. As far as the finish of the foundation, I do agree that it gives a semi-matte finish on the skin. Actually very similar to the serum foundation, so I would say the finish is the same. Um, even the consistency and the way it feels and looks when you apply it on your skin, it looks exactly the same. Obviously this has a higher amount of pigment in it, so it's going to give a lot more coverage. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be right back to give you my overall thoughts on this foundation. All right guys, so I went ahead and applied the rest of my makeup. Same deal with this, I barely set my makeup because it already gave me such a matte finish on the skin. Overall, I'm really impressed with this foundation. Um, it's definitely a full coverage foundation, so not really something that I see myself wearing on an everyday basis, but if I am going to an event or I don't know who's going out these days, but this is probably something that I would wear more for that occasion. 
As far as the longevity of this foundation, I really haven't had a chance to test it out and wear it all day to see how long it's gonna wear, but just based on how it looks right now, how it went on, I can definitely feel that this is a long-lasting foundation. All right guys, so we are almost at the end of this video. I wanna give you my overall thoughts on both of these foundations. So overall, I'm very, very impressed. I feel like they serve two different purposes and they are actually more similar than they are different. Um, as far as the consistency, they both feel and look exactly the same. So they both have that very watery liquid consistency that just melts into the skin when you apply it. As far as the finish of the foundation, they're also very similar, both give at least on my skin, a semi-matte finish. Again, this is really gonna vary depending on your skin type, what you put underneath it, what you put over it. But overall, on my skin type, which is oily, this definitely gave me a semi-matte finish as described. As far as the coverage, I would say this is the biggest difference between them two. The serum foundation is definitely going to give you a lighter coverage, although I find it's very buildable to a medium and even possibly a full coverage, which is why I think this foundation is so versatile and the coverage foundation is really just gonna give you full coverage right off the bat and I definitely don't feel that there's a need for another layer of foundation with this because it gives so much coverage. I think both these foundations are excellent but if you were to ask me which one I would prefer, I definitely prefer the serum foundation. I was already really impressed with the amount of coverage it gave on first application and it just feels so light on the skin. It really doesn't feel like you're wearing any makeup which is really great because most of us these days are not wearing a lot of makeup but the coverage foundation is still a really excellent foundation for those of you guys that want a fuller coverage it definitely makes your skin look really flawless and again i'm very impressed by both of these but my pick goes to the serum foundation personally for the price of it you can really get both and see which one you like and you can really get both for different occasions all right guys that is the end of my video thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this comparison of the serum foundation and the coverage foundation if you are curious about which one to get i really hope this video kind of narrowed that down for you also let me know if you guys have any specific video requests leave them in the comments below i love hearing from you guys on what you want to see next on this channel and as always thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye